pasa que sí he, 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 he tocado con músicos de jazz porque yo nunca fui a la escuela a aprender música, yo no sé armonía, yo no sé ni cómo se llaman las escalas que toco ni a veces ni los acordes. So, wait here, hands up. Paco is saying here, I played with jazz musicians, meaning Chick Corea and John McLaughlin, for instance, Andy Meola, because I never went to the school and I wanted to learn. I don't know harmony. I don't know the names of the scales I play or, or even of the chords. I don't know the name of the chords. He's saying this. In conclusion, nunca fui a la escuela. In, in conclusion, I never went to the school, so I wanted to learn it, and then it was easier to call John McLaughlin. I said, let's play together, and I learned there in whatever we play there right away. <laughs> and the Spartan way of learning, which is of course, beyond the capabilities of normal people. But he did it this way to learn in the, in the you know, in the Parco Scenico, directly in the concerts, in the rehearsals they did. That was his way to learn instead of going to the school. Entonces, me puse a tocar con músicos de, de jazz, que sí son gente que sabe mucha armonía, que están, pues, a la vanguardia de, pues, de la música. So he, he, he went to contact the, the ultra vanguard of music, which is meaning John McLaughlin and great composer Chick Corea. Uh, that's, that's how he changed and reinvented also the flamenco thing without not mixing both, but keeping the flamenco pillars sustaining the columns, sustaining the whole building of the compositional outcome he created. And through his discography, you can see this very clearly. Y por ahí aprendí mucho más. Y pues yo tengo mi propio, mi propia manera de comparar. So I, I, that's how I learn it. So if we learn from them, if Paco did learn, imagine what you can learn. But you have to want to learn it, right? So therefore, that's why he played with jazz musicians, because with the intention of exploring and learning how they did it. Sí, improvisar más como músico de flamenco o como músico de jazz. Pues de las dos maneras, yo soy un músico de flamenco. De flamenco. Yo no soy, ni, pre, ni he pretendido nunca ser un músico de jazz. Lo que pasa es que sí he, 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 he tocado con músicos de jazz porque yo nunca fui a la escuela a aprender música. Yo no sé armonía, yo no sé ni cómo se llaman las escalas que toco y a veces ni los acordes. Conclusión, nunca fui a la escuela. Entonces me puse a tocar con músicos de, de jazz que sí son gente que sabe mucha armonía, que están pues a la vanguardia de, pues, de la música. Y por ahí aprendí mucho más. Y... That's incredible. An incredible thing. And, you know, he was not afraid to say, I don't know music, because he was, he said, I didn't have money, you need to go to the school. So everything I learned, learn it in the street and play by ear. So by ear, I want to see who has this capacity of four balls square, really speaking, sorry for the word, but to sit there with Joe McLaughlin and, and Orchie Korea and play by ear. Are you crazy? But uh, this is just unimaginably difficult, what he did. But he has to enter their realm first of, of improvisation in the jazzistic concept, and then combine that, and then just include it as a part of the modern language of flamenco guitar, which, by the way, nobody is, nobody is following because they keep going to common places, as he said before. But now he will explain other extraordinary aspects that we will continue also analyzing next time. Thanks.